Hi, today we're on Plum Island in Massachusetts. And if you don't mind going for a little bit of a walk, you can find tons of shells. Actually, from the very beginning of the walk, I found a lot of Arctic wedge clams. If you want to look down with me, I'll show you. These are just some of the Arctic wedge clams I found. And you can see there's probably a healthy population of moon snails out here because there's all these drill marks through them, nice little holes in them which is usually due to the moon snail, because he likes to eat clams. <clears throat> he drills right through the shell. So I found a, sh a few of these moon snail shells up higher on the beach, but these are covering the beach, the Arctic wedge clams. Not only did I find Arctic wedge clams, but I've been finding some jackknife clams, also called the common razor clam. And I also found the little, um, what this is called the Atlantic razor clam also. They have a similar name and it's also called the ribbed pod. That's a broken bit of it, but I can tell that that's what it is. Now, another snail is the dog winkle or the dog whelk. Found a beautiful shell from the dog whelk. And then this was kind of a sweet surprise. I found a couple of little deep sea scallop shells. I don't find them all the time, so that was really nice. They definitely have a lot of uh, surf clams, which is great. A lot of the big surf clams and a lot of little surf clams. And if you want to come over here, you can see the blue mussels. You'll find a lot of those. I found several different oysters. That one has some beautiful, co beautiful coloring on it. And I also found a ton of hard shell clams. You can see the quahog with the purple and then the black clam or the false quahog. found several of those. Here's a soft shell clam, okay? See the shape on that? And then a couple of the cool finds today. This is a piece of a great pittock shell. The great pittock. And you can tell because of that beautiful patterning. Okay, I don't, I don't have much shell, but I can tell just from those beautiful waves in that shell. And then the really neat thing today that we discovered is what I believe to be a chestnut astarte. A chestnut astarte, or it could be a start, I'm not sure. But it's flatter than the hard shell clams. It's still nice and thick, the shell, but it's got a beautiful brown periostracum. That's the little covering on the outside of the shell. That wears off, like on this black clam shell. You can see it's starting to wear off, and it'll end up having a white shell. But these two still have their brown periostracum. So that's what we found so far walking Plum Island in Massachusetts. It's a gorgeous September day and we've had a great time so far and I look, I look forward to finding more shells. Thanks for joining me.